Hello and welcome to another Nico Media thing. <laughs> it's not a tutorial really, it's more a quick tip. Uh, I got a question and I was asked how to make this uh, flat part here in the, in the smartphone. Just uh, so this, this rounding and then the, the flat part and this, this part here. So I want to show you how to make this. So I start with a cube. What a surprise. And let's say poof, 10, 10, 10, 10, okay, 110, and we have our smartphone. Okay, and I want in the x-axis, I want two segments. Oh, yeah, this should, this should work, okay. So I make this cube editable. I use my edit optimize script, you know it. If you don't have it or don't want it, just hit C on your keyboard and uh, optimize. So, uh, next thing is I go into edge mode and UB for a ring selection. Select these edges, then I deselect these ones. To deselect a selection, just hold your control key, and if you want to add selection, hold your shift key. So, I bevel this MS for bevel. And let's say bevel, no, this is too much. 12. Okay, and three segments. This should be okay. Good, so far. Then I take this edge here and I bury this edge MS again. And I bury it a little bit, but not, not with this rounding here. I don't want this rounding, I want the flat thing. So let's say four here and null subdivisions. This should work here. Next thing is I go in my point mode, take this point and this point, T for uh, scaling and scale it up, let's say to about 170%, so that we have almost the same spaces here in between. Okay, and now we have to bevel this, because if we put this in a subdivision surface, I think we don't have much fun with it. Uh, of course, we have fun with it, but <laughs> it's not what we want. Okay, so I select my cube and go to the deformer, uh, so to do the uh, deformer and take the bevel deformer. With the cube selected, hold the shift key, so the bevel becomes child of this. And this looks very nice, but I don't want jump, I want to go to solids. Okay, the topology should be. Yeah, this is, doesn't matter. And here we have everything quads. This is a quad. This is a, these are quads. So you know I like quads. Here we have, of course, we have a polygon, but uh, this is, we will fix later. Let's see if we get what we want. I think yes. So and we have what we want. But this is not ready. So. I wanna do I wanna come with this edge a little to the to the back side and here maybe a little down. So and of course we're gonna get rid of this polygon and everything. But I want so I'm happy with the bevel here, this is okay. So what I do I take the bevel and say current state to object, so the cube, current state to object, and I delete this. Oh, I don't delete this cube, I put it in the backup folder, maybe I need it later. So take it in the backup folder, deactivate. So, and in the backup folder and everything, every plugin and, and script I use, you will find everything in the description. So, and this is this. And uh, yeah, and current state to object, if you don't have the current state to object in the toolbar, just right click and go to current state to object. Good so far. And now I want to cut this in half to work with the symmetry object. I take the cube and edge mode and UB again for a ring selection. I select these edges here and hit MM. MM means uh, connect points and edges. So I hit MM and have a cut here exactly in the middle. This is what I want. So I go to my rectangle selection. This is zero on your numbed point mode and select all with only select visible deactivated and delete the points. 
Okay. And put this cube, select the cube, hold the Alt key, symmetry object, and we have our thing here. And we have to work just on one side now. Okay. Next step is I want a quick cut here and on the bottom the same. So KK for the line cut or in earlier versions uh, K in line mode. I go here and visible only deactivated. So I want to, to cut the back side too. So I click here on this point, go to here and hold your shift key so you get a horizontal line and make a cut. Okay, the same we do on here. This point, shift key and cut it. Okay, now we should have a cut here and on the back side. Yep, this is exactly what we want. Now let's see how what we have to do here. I want the cut here down and here up, so I have two quads here. And I want a cut here down. So I need on this edge two cuts. Okay, go nine on the numpad for the life selection. I select this one and this one and I select it on the back side too. This one and this one. And I said I want two cuts here. So I hit MF for the edge cut tool here. Say I want two subdivisions and no end guns please. And I apply it. I get this. Okay, here you see we have two uh, quotes. This is what I want. And here it's okay too. That's exactly what I want. We have a quote here. That is totally nice. But on the back side we have here this one. I don't want this one. So I dissolve it. You can right click dissolve. This is here. Or MN on your keyboard. And let's see how it looks here. So here MN on the keyboard and here MN on the keyboard. The next thing is I select this edges here and these edges and here on the top these edges and here and on these edges I need just one cut in, in the middle I just want to to half them so uh, I hit again mm mm I see we have the half and KK for the line cut and now be careful now just visible only I cut from here to here and have two quads here I cut from here to here and have two quads here I cut from here to here and again two quads and from here to here two quads and we are done here Now we have everywhere quotes and if we put this uh, an R, everything looks nice and smooth. But as I said, what I want to do is uh, I want to make here, I want to take these points here and bring them a little to the front here. So something like that maybe. And I take these two points. Go in the side view here, so you can see it better. And drag them a little to the front too, so that we get a straight, something like a straight line here. So I think this uh, life tool and life selection. Now I want to select everything, not only the visible. So I can take these two here and bring them a little back. Okay, and now I want to select, so go to the visible only again. I want to bring them down a little bit here, everyone, everything. Something like that. The side view to see it, so I want, now I want to select everything, so I can select this here. In the front. Here again, maybe a little back, so, okay, 
this should work. Let's go to NI for isopumps, if you better. And here I don't want to have this so stretched, our UVs here, so the mesh. What I do here is go to edge mode, UB again for ring selection. And I hit sometimes MM. MM once is the half, again MM, and let's say 1 MM. So now. I have a nice even mesh here and now this is our subdivided mesh and it looks great. We are ready. We have this roundings with partial 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 uh, flat thing. <laughs> okay, that's it. I hope you like this. I hope it helped. And I uh, hope to see you soon in my next tutorial. And yeah, and as I say every time, you will find every plugin, everything in the description of the videos. And uh, you will find every link you need. So you find a link to the to the other tutorials, and then to, uh, not to, to the other tutorials, not to my to my uh, Facebook site. And if you have questions, just write in the comments and write on write me on Facebook or on my website or somewhere. And if you want to donate, you have you will find links in, in the description. I really appreciate donations. Who not? And uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, uh, please uh, subscribe on Patreon. You will find the link in the description. Uh, the, the advantage of the Patreon subscription is if you ask me something or you want a tutorial and you ask you are a Patreon. Uh, of course, patrons have uh, priority. So, so if I have a list with hundred tutorials at the patron, say, hey, like you will pay it go up in that list. Uh, it is same with donators. So <laughs> I know, I know, it's not really nice of me, but you know, we with donators and and and, and patrons come first, which is. <laughs> but I love you all, people. So it's no question about it. Okay. So I hope you like this and the uh, next tutorial will come soon and yeah, there's nothing more. I wish you a nice um, uh, Monday is almost over, at least here in Austria. So uh, <laughs> the worst part of the week is almost over here. And yeah, that's it for today. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next in the next tutorial and uh, have a nice day. So and tschüss and bye bye.